My name is Skinner, and this is Skinner's Dose, where I document my daily dose of adrenaline and help you get ideas of different adventures that you can take with me to get your adrenaline pumping too. I love America, and I'm blessed every day to wake up and ask myself, what am I going to do today to get my adrenaline pumping? Thanks so much for stopping by. Don't forget to like and subscribe. That's right, guys. Thanks for watching. As you just saw, time to break in a 2022 CRF 250R. Man, I'm so excited. It's been a few years since I had a new bike. I was going through those used ones, doing the builds, flipped them for a little bit more and earned myself enough to pay for a brand new one um, using just our play money so it didn't have to affect our day-to-day -day budget. I'm super stoked. Um, yeah, I just love the 250s and I tried the KTM for a while. Love that bike, 2018. I also bought that bike new. I love that bike. Um, sold it, took a break for a minute, decided I can't really live without bikes, it's in my blood. And I went back to Honda. I just love Hondas, I love the way they look. I've always been a Honda guy. And today is a beautiful day. So we are taking it up just up on West Mountain and we are going to get her broke in. So there's a lot to do. I'm gonna do different suspension stuff, probably this winter, but right now just break it in ride it as much as I can before winter sets in and then we'll start doing some build stuff in the winter. But I'll give you guys my first impressions. And yeah, thanks so much for watching. Um, hope it helps you guys get your inspiration for some adrenaline because I'm hoping to get my adrenaline pumping today. Just rolled up here to West Mountain. I know all you haters, it is rocky and hard and not the best place ever to ride. But I am feeling super blessed that on a beautiful day like today, I can drive five minutes from my house and have a place with hours and hours of riding. Even if it's not the best, it's better than living in the city and having nowhere to ride. Now, I forgot the GoPro, so we don't, we're not gonna have any footage of me actually riding, but I'll go out, show you how to do a proper break-in. And um, if you guys have any more questions or anything else you wanna see with this bike, then drop comments below. But if you like this, um, like the video, please stick around, get some information. Again, I'll give you first impressions and then also kind of show you the proper break-in for brand new four stroke 250. Um, but yeah, excited. One more appreciation post. Let's just take one more minute. I know it's windy, but one more minute to appreciate how beautiful she looks while she still has never been ridden. It's about to get dusty and anyone who's had a new bike, you know, they never look quite like they do before you ever rode it. Um, you will also notice I'm an idiot and when I was charging the battery, I left the battery cover at home, so normally there's a nice looking battery cover on there. I don't have it today. I'll try to be as careful as possible, but dang, beautiful day, beautiful mountains, even more beautiful bike. Man, we are blessed, aren't we? Oh yeah. I also think this new Honda is one of the best sounding factory exhaust. It sounds so neat. I love it. Heck yeah. All right, guys. Well. Um, I forgot to tell you at first, first I just heat it up, get it warm, let it idle for not a long time, like three minutes, just let it get a little bit warm, turn it off, let it cool for 30 minutes, and then went out here, um, I did that at the garage, then we came out here, and I just got done with the first um, cycle, I'm gonna run it for 15 minutes, light, don't get it high in the RPMs, just ride it nice, get through all the gears, I got through first through fifth, rode it for 15 minutes, let it get warm, ride it a little. I love it already, but I haven't even seen the potential because I haven't got on it. We'll let it cool for 30 minutes. And then the second time we're gonna get on it and just ride it like normal. So first time you let it get warm on idle. Like I said, not a long time, three, three and a half minutes. Let it get warm, turn it off, let it cool for 30 minutes. Start it back up, obviously, you know, let it warm up. Go for a ride, stay low in the RPMs. Don't get on it too much, just drive it nice and easy. Get a feel for it, 15 minutes, let it cool for 30 again. And then, like I said, the next time we go out, we'll really get on it, um, ease into it. But by the time we're at the end of the 15 minutes on the next one, I'll really go on it and just ride it like we're supposed to, ride it like it's built to. And that'll let everything set in good and we'll be good to go. Sorry again about the wind, uh, but hopefully it's informative for you. All right, that's a wrap. Just got done with 20 minutes riding like I would normal, um, letting it get up in the RPMs, riding it not like crazy, crazy hard, like racing motocross, but just out here, you know, 
going through all the gears, letting it rev out. Man, this bike is impressive. The motor is awesome. It feels like a mini 450. Compared to my KTM, the KTM was really good. Again, I had a 2018 KTM 250. Other than that, I've had all 450s except for some really old 250s back in the day. But compared to the KTM, the KTM was sweet, but you had to keep it revved really high to get that most power. Honda's whole thing with this 22 was trying to get more of that low to mid, which they really accomplished. Um, it, like I said, you can ride it like a mini 450. I held third in a lot of corners that normally, you, you know, should probably be in second, but just to see what it would do. And man, it, it did awesome. It really impressed me. I'm really excited about it. One thing I will say, which is to be expected, this thing is set up really stiff. I'm 145 pounds without gear, probably close to 150 with gear. And it is stiff. You hit the, you can feel every piece of chatter. You can feel the big rocks. It bounces around a little. Um, like I said, I expected it, but it, it was stiff. So I'm excited to get the suspension done. I'll get it set up and that should fix everything. But other than suspension, everything's perfect. And the thing that's nice about that, suspension is really easy to fix. For me and my weight, I usually have to do suspension on all my bikes anyways. So I'm not too worried about it. Um, I'll probably hit up Moto Experts, have them do the suspension on this one. I really have heard good things about them. Cameron is awesome to deal with. He's done a lot of mechanic works on a lot of my bikes. I've never had him do suspension. They have recently ramped up their suspension shop and it seems to be really good stuff. Um, so I'll have him do it and set this up. And I think once we get this thing set up with suspension, it's gonna be awesome. I'm getting some graphics made for it. So I am really trying to be careful keeping my legs off the plastics and stuff. So I rode a little bit loose. I should squoze with my knees a little more and the boots, but again, I'm really excited. Of course, it's a brand new bike. Any of them that you get, none of them are gonna be bad, but this is just everything I need. It's way more stable on like the head shake that I'm used to with the older Hondas. I love the Hondas because they're slim and nimble. You can put it wherever you want. Cornering, you can just send it wherever you want it to go and it just falls right wherever you put it. Again, I'm really excited. I feel like there might be a little bit um, bars where I think this is set up for a little bit shorter rider. I'm not really tall. I'm 5'11", but if you look up the stats for professional motocross racers, I think the guys who build this bike are used to a lot of shorter riders. Um, in motocross, 5'11 is tall everywhere else, I'm sure. <laughs> but yeah, so um, I'll probably do something with the bars, get a little bit different setup. But other than that and the suspension, I am in love. This thing is gonna be awesome. Um, to save weight, the Honda went with Pirelli tires. Well, I assume that's the only reason they would go with them over the Dunlop. They're the Scorpion MX-33, I think. Let's look real quick. Sorry, MX-32. And for out here, I mean, it's really, really, really hard. Out here, they suck. They just roll off everything and they are not set up for hard at all. If you are doing like harder desert stuff, definitely you're gonna want some different tires. But um, for moto, I'm sure they're all right in this soft loamy stuff. I'll probably switch to the Dunlops. That's what I've always done. But yeah, I'm really excited about it. That's the break-in. Um, next, what we'll wanna do is change the oil after a minimum of one and a half hours maximum of three hours so we've got it broken but you want to watch your hour meter put an hour meter on it i put one on this the day that i got it first let it warm up normally idling turn it off wait 30 minutes for it to cool go on a little 15 minute ride staying out of the higher rpms let it cool for 30 minutes again and then go on a 15 20 minute ride riding like you normally would don't overdo it but just go like you normally would um, and just have a good time ride it let it cool and then watch your hour meter and once you get one and a half hours between three hours um, definitely before three hours definitely definitely change your oil on that first one you don't have to do it that frequent every time but on the break-in all that stuff loosens up and you'll definitely want to make sure you change that oil between one and a half to three hours but other than that let me know what you guys want to see on this bike i bought it to vlog with it so let me know what you want um like I said, I'm excited for the suspension. I'm gonna get some graphics done. Um, yeah, but let me know, what do you guys wanna see? If there's anything else on the channel you wanna see, Jeep updates, um, mini boat update, what? There's a little hit. 
coming pretty soon. Sooner than you think, not as soon as you want, but gonna have a really good time. So like and subscribe if you like the video. Give me any suggestions in the comments and we'll see you next time. Thanks so much.